So in this video, I want to show you how to set up the E5AK controller being used for the level. So the first thing you have to do is turn on the air. So the handle here has got to be parallel to the pipe. If it's perpendicular, it's closed. You have to make sure that the valves at the bottom here are also parallel to the respective pipes. That means they're fully open. This is gonna be important going forward. That's the drain that drains the container of liquid right over here. And that would simulate demand on the system. This is your level transmitter, which sends a signal proportional to the amount of liquid in here, or the amount of pressure, depending on the liquid. Uh, once you've turned on that valve, what you want to do is wire up uh, the components. So here you have a 24 volt power supply. We only need to use the red or positive. We're going to send a positive to LT, which is basically the level transmitter. From the level transmitter, the output of the level transmitter is going to send a signal to the level indicator controller. So this guy here is the controller. The output of the controller Right here, your positive and negative will go straight to your IP converter before going to the valve. That will open up the positioner right here. So this positioner uh, dictates how open the valve will be. The valve you see at the bottom there. And this is your IP converter with the gauge showing you the amount of pressure because we're converting an electric signal into a pneumatic signal. So once this is wired, once your air is on, what you want to do is turn on power with the selector switch here. You want to make sure that your e-stop, don't pull on it. You see these arrows here, all you have to do is twist and it'll pop out. Let it boot up a little bit. So already, I mean, it, when it was turned off, it was in auto mode. You can tell it's auto mode because manual is not triggered and it was set to 50%. That means 50% of the span in the column of liquid there. So right now there's no liquid coming in and the valve is fully open. So if you see the, uh, the, the valve positioner here, that means fully open. In order for the liquid to go through, we have to turn on the pump. So the pump is basically down here and it pumps liquid, that Prestone or glycol in you follow the pipe here, it goes in through the valve. Depending on how open the valve is, you can higher or lower the flow. It then goes in through the FIT, flow indicator transmitter, and on top of the actual container itself, and you can see that the water is rising. So that's what you have to do to get started with the E5AK for a level loop. Like I said before, this valve here is gonna be pretty important. Once you um, have a bit of liquid in that, in the container itself, you should set this to a 45 degree angle or open 50%. If that's open 50%, it means that there's a demand on the system. And if there's a demand on the system, it's gonna be a bit more complicated to actually get a mass balance between the inflow and outflow, but this is what you have to practice. Okay, so that's basically the E5AK level loop and what you have to do at the very beginning.